Hi, welcome to Robojax. This is Absolute Beginner's tutorial for turning an LED on and off using a push button. So here in this uh, sketch that you see here, when I push this button, the LED is on. When I release it, the LED is off. LED is light emitting diode, so it has two pins. Uh, so it has two pins. The long one is anode, which is a positive, and the short one is cathode, so which is negative. So the positive voltage must come here, so it can be turned on and off. So we have two types of push button here, the tiny one. So one is with a two pin that you can insert it directly to breadboard. It has longer pin. This is shorter pin, you might not be able to easily insert it into Arduino. But both of them can be used, so if you want to use this one, you can solder a wire and then insert it into the uh, mm, breadboard. Top of both of these are exactly the same, except the pins are different. And this one has four pins, so this and this has two pins. So this can connect two wires with one push. It can connect the two switch, but this can do with one switch. So both of these can be used to turn the light on and off. I'm inserting the switch in this one of the two holes. So once you insert it, the, the one pin is inserted in this row from here to here. So I'm going to connect this one. This goes to the ground. So my blue line is ground. And the other pin is connected to any of this from here to here so i have three holes one here and then two here so it doesn't matter so i'm going to connect it there so this will also connect there so i can touch this easily and then this pin is connected to pin two so this was how the switch is connected so let me remove the wire so you can see the led so the led is connected this way I've connected the long wire, the long leg, in here, and then the. Sh so I've connected the long leg on this side, which is connected to the yellow wire. Then the yellow wire is connected to the pen ten. This is connected to pen ten, and I put here a 680 ohm. You can put 680 from 500 up to one kilo ohm will, will work fine. Connected from the cathode which is the negative one, which is a short pin. From here directly it's connected to the ground. Then uh, these two wires, I've connected them one to the negative. This line, when you connect here, all of them will be connected up to the end. So I have accepted this as my negative, and then on this side, all of them are positive. So I've connected here this to the ground, and this white one is connected to the five volts of my Arduino, which is here. So I have here ground, so this is connected to ground, as you can see, and the other one is connected to the 5 volts. And then pin 10, this is connected to the LED, and then this is connected to the switch. So let me show you the first thing, diagram here. And this is LED. LED goes here. This is the cathode. It goes to 680 ohm resistor, and resistor goes to the to the negative. And this is the push button. This push button on the diagram has four pins. So these two are the same. So this and this will be connected when you push it, and this and this will be connected. So that's the same. So this is connected to the negative, and this orange is connected to the pin two. You see here orange is connected to the pin 2 and yellow is connected to the pin 10. And then from 5 volts and from ground I have packed these two wires and connected them to the breadboard. So this is the negative on this breadboard and this is the red which is positive on the breadboard. When you create file new this is what you have. You have one method called setup and we have another method called loop. Everything that you want to make a setup or run only once, you write them here in between this 
opening and between this closing here. Everything else that you write here between this beginning and end, this will be a loop and will be run continuously. So whatever you write will be executed and it goes again and again and again forever until you stop it, you do something manually or in terms of programming. Otherwise it will run con continuously. So in this code that I've written inside the setup, I've set pin two with an input pull up. When I put this word uh, input, not just input, input pull up, it makes it to have always a resistor connected to the pin. So it eliminates using of extra resistor. So that's a very good practice if you're using uh, push button or some other method to eliminate it. So pin 2 is uh, input and pin 10 is output where we connect our LED to be turned on. And inside the loop here we say pin 2 and this is we are defining we say digital read pin 2 so it reads pin 2 and the result is here. So by default it's always high and it's always pushed because we put pull up resistor. So here we say if push is equal zero. This is when you push the button. So when you push this button, this goes low. We say F push is equal equal. When you compare two things, you put two equal sign. So when push is low, push is low, then we say digital right, pen 10, high. So set it at high, which means send voltage to pin 10. High mean voltage, it gives 5 volts. And then else otherwise, send pin 10 to low, which means turn the LED off. So now here is the code, as well as the LED. So when I push it, the LED is on. Release it, LED is off. That's the reason. Otherwise, I need to put extra resistor here to make it work, because you cannot connect it to positive and press it. This is already connected to positive, but internally there is a resistor inside the Arduino, so it eliminates it. And that's it. So this way you can turn on and off an LED. And this pin, which is the output from pin 10, this can be used to drive something else. Instead of this, you can connect it to a relay, which I have another video. You can turn on the relay and it will, in turn, you can turn on an AC, a big bulb which I will have another video explaining it. So this was Absolute Beginner's Guide to turning on and off an LED. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video and subscribe so you will see uh, my upcoming videos.